Hey, what's up, everybody? And welcome to our episode of 40 Under 40, sponsored by Urban Arts Magazine. I'm your boy, Giles, and I'll be hosting this conversation. Yo, today I have a dope, dope artist with me. So about 40 Under 40, we're highlighting 40 Black artists under the age of 40, just like it sounds. Um, today, I have Brother Sean Keys. He is a musical genius out here in these streets. Yo, 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 let me get him in. Sean, how you doing, brother? I'm chilling, man. How y'all? Oh, we good, man. We good. Yo, thank you for joining us for sure, man. Thank you for having me, bro. Appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you you, you in the hip-hop world, man. So, so tell me about how'd, how'd you get into the hip-hop game? Ah, oh, man, I've been in it for a while. Uh, you know, doing behind the scenes stuff, you know, been an artist for a long time. Then I took a break from that to do some behind the scenes and behind the scenes and management work. Okay. And then, you know, when the pandemic kicked back off, I'm like, you know what? I, I ain't rusty and dusty. Let me go ahead and get it back together and put something out. So that's what we did. I feel you. I feel you. So you say you've been in it for a minute. Like how long you've been uh, in, in the game? Uh, I've been in the game now for about 15 years, to be real okay. with you. Okay. Yeah. How'd you get started in that? I got started as a young artist, uh, inspired by one of my god brothers, Mr. Peace Mario, um, going on the trips, family trips down to New Orleans. You know, just got that bug and got inspired. You know, from the jazz scene down there to the rap scene, uh, and just watching. You know, and then played in the band and played drums growing up in the church. Gotcha. You know, so it, that kind of just spiraled into where we at today and what we got going on. That's dope, man. So you have musical roots all through your family. It sounds like. Yeah, definitely. You know, my grandma had a, uh, uh, a piano. You know, we were together and played the piano. You know, so yeah. that was pretty much it. Yeah. Well, oh, that's dope, man. That's dope. So, like, um, you had a song that you just did a shot, shot a video for. So tell me about that. Okay. Was that Show Up, Show Out? Yeah, Show Up, Show Out. Yeah. Yeah, that was me, RJ2, Raphael RJ2, one of my producers, and Dougie the Don. Dougie is a Vegas, a Las Vegas artist. Um, and then RJ too, he out of Louisiana as well. But he he a Grammy Award winning producer for the Carter Three. I think he got the Carter Three album. He okay. Got a Grammy for that. I don't remember which one it was, but I know he got a Grammy for the Carter. It's dope. Um, and then he got you know platinum plaques from other placements. Beats how you want them is his company. They pretty dope and relevant. Um, so we just got together. I went to Vegas, and knocked out a whole album. Me and RJ too. Wow. I got a whole bunch of singles on the way coming. Yeah. Um, so that was just one of them because I wanted to collab with an artist from Vegas since yeah. I frequent you know out there pretty yeah. much a lot. And then to give them some shine, you know, because I feel like my platform is building itself up to where I can sprinkle some shine back on the local artists that's out out that way on the West Coast in that city. Yo, so this yeah. so this song is not like um. So I listen to the song, and it's not it's 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 actually a very positive message. And you don't normally like you don't hear that a lot in hip hop and hip hop music today. Right. right. So, so tell me why why was it so important to do a song that had a positive message? Well, if I want you to hear me, I need to speak clearly, right? So okay. I felt like if we did any kind of negative tone or anything like that, it might not have got the, the message through. Yeah. So it's really for people who have been through a lot who have been counted out the underdogs the black sheep the that whole crowd of people who sometimes they get x out like for yourself i'm sure it was people telling you oh man why you want to do that why you start the podcast but here we are today doing this interview yeah for real. This might be a classic monumental interview five ten years from now i don't know this might be a sound bit for my documentary in life and then they gotta include you you see what i'm saying yeah, or true. you they gotta include me you yeah. get what i'm saying yeah, yeah. So it's, it's one of the things where it was a record to where show up, show out is not about flossing and stunting, but mm -hmm. it's like showing up. You've arrived to your moment in life where mm -hmm. you've accomplished what they said you couldn't accomplish. Unbow your head and society to people who knew you back then to who you are now today. They got to put some respect on your name. Like our <laughs> bird <man. laughs> put, some, <laughs> put some respect on my name. There you go. There you go. So Man. that was it. That's that's the whole tone of show up, show out. Uh, and then before that, it was scared money with me and Filthy Rich. Okay. Teaching people how to invest and just talking about different things with money, not just flossing our bread and throwing it around, which we did. But the message behind that is a lot deeper than the imagery that we project 
that you see. So we got to feed them some sugar to even give them a vegetable. Gotcha, gotcha. That makes yeah. sense, man. That makes sense. Yo, you shot this video. What was the Liberace Mansion? The Liberace Mansion. Yes, Yo, sir. that was man. That piano was fire, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yo, like that. Yo, yo, how was that? Like being in the Liberace Mansion, like shooting a whole video inside that. Bro, I'm gonna tell you something, man. You know they say that that place is haunted, right? Yeah, yeah, I heard that. Yeah, it's haunted for real. Yo, like, being in there, it's like a piano would just start playing out of nowhere. Nah. And different doors are open and closed. Like it was really haunted. Yeah. So the crew, like like the crew, they would like we would all stay in certain areas together. Yeah. Because you could feel the presence of Liberace in that house. Like it, it was the. You got to think. A lot of the old timers used to go to Vegas back in the day mm -hmm. and they would all huddle at Liberace house. Right, right. You got all that old energy. And then his energy was magnetic. And he was like the mm -hmm. greatest showman in entertainment before Michael Jackson and before them. And Michael Jackson actually used to go spend a night at his house when he would go to Vegas. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so I, I, that, I, huh? I didn't know that. That's dope. Yeah. So the house, and then you know, his stairway. He got a staircase that he flew in from like France from a brothel. <laughs> dude, dude had so much money and he was just so elaborate and just so exquisite with his his taste wow. to where he still got a lot of the original stuff. The new owner now he has a lot of the original stuff that Liberace had, mm -hmm. you know, in the household. Different people that Liberace gave stuff to, you know, the guy was able to buy it back or they gave it back because they wanted his legacy to continue on. Yeah, that's real. But but he had a, he got a full ballroom. I'm talking about the ballroom could fit at least easily, let's say two thousand people. Two thousand? God, wow. Yeah, wow. like if you having a like a packed event. Yeah. You know, post you know prior to COVID type yeah. stuff, but he could fit a lot of people in there. And then his whole house like is glass everywhere. Like he got a, a glass hallway. You walk down his hallways, it's like straight oh, glass. Wow. The yeah, piano yeah. is like a diamond crystal piano. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. yeah, his bathtub, you know, had gold. It's like gold handles. Wow. Yeah. So it's also so important to do that, like, do that video there. Why don't you want to do that video there? Well, I wanted to do the video there because I respect his craft. You know, and then growing up in my school days, you know, coming out of Milwaukee. So, and, and then Liberace is actually from there originally, too. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to give a nod to that to him and his legacy because a lot of people really don't do that. You know, he's a forgotten legend to right. a degree. If right. you know, if you don't bring him up or you don't know him, but like people right. go Google him, Liberace. Yeah. And of course, he was a member of the LGBTQ. That's not my agenda, but at the same time, just showing respect to that community as well as one of their founding performers. You know, because you're Elton John's and all of them are respectable musicians who got their chops from him and took yeah. different pieces from his career. You know, you heard Dr. Dre mention them and some of his stuff on the Chronicles. Yeah. You know, yeah. a good nod, a good musician. That's dope, man. That's yeah. dope. Yo, so I was like, when I was watching the video, man, I, it, it literally, yo, it was it was nice. It was yeah, really thank nice. You, yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, sure, for sure. Thank you. So, thank uh, you. so that's a highlight. So I want to talk about some, um, some low lights. So I was reading an article um, okay. about a show that you did in Atlanta. Yeah. Uh, so, so talk to me about that, uh, that uh, you and Ludacris, like, I mean, not you and Ludacris, but you and Ludacris. <laughs> All right, there's two parts to it. Well, okay, I can okay. tell you the part that's on the surface. So okay. where'd you find that at first off? Man, I, Google, Google, brother, Google. <laughs> yeah, it was on the website. Though. <laughs> okay. I lost 20,000 on the show. I was a promoter too, right? So I'm like, mm -hmm. you know. As a young artist, I'm trying to figure out ways to stay relevant. And for all you artists out there, you know, you got to pay your own way in this game. You really can't depend on nobody to here come a, uh, a magic record li record label coming through to give you a break. And if so, it's probably not the deal that you want fresh in the game. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So even knowing that back then, so I was like, okay, well, I'm going to promote some shows to bring – different bigger acts before mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. and then i could come on and do my thing or even go on before them because the objective is to make money right, right? and to be seen so that's what i did it was luda day weekend mm -hmm. i and this was like in the beginning when he first started doing that yeah 
man, he went down there to start and went to Ludacris. I sold like probably 50 tickets. Wow. If that, so I lost wow. like 20 bags. Man, I still had to pay the artist that came. Yeah. I had uh I had booked Killer Mike, Nappy Roots. It was wow. a group called Cash Cap back in the day. Uh, well, at that time, and I had like a gospel show prior, so it was like a a, a day festival thing. So the first half was like a gospel thing. Gotcha. I had Sparky Sparky D. Okay. I had I don't know if y'all know who she is, uh -uh. but she used to. I think she used to have like a rap beef in New York with Roxanne, 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 or Roxanne Shantae. Okay. Awesome. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So, but that was it, man. I lost big time. That you know, but so, salute to Lucas. Yeah. What you learn from that though? Did you what takeaways? Man, you want to know something? To be honest with you, and I got, I still got the flyer. Really? Still got because I keep that as a as a memory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I I ain't gonna lie to you, man. When I lost, when I knew it was over, and I wasn't gonna make no money, I went to the back. Cause we had it at the uh, the Civic Center. I went to the back of that damn thing. And, well, excuse me. I went to the back of that place and cried. <laughs> wow. Because that was a it was an embarrassment. Yeah. It was yeah. a shot to your ego. Yeah, for real. And it was a financial loss. Yeah, yeah. I ended up losing my apartment after that. Dang. Were you living I, in Atlanta? Huh? Were you living in Atlanta? I was living. I was living out there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I was living out there for a minute. Gotcha. So and I ended up going back to LA after that. But okay. it what I learned was you gotta have a proper preparation prevents poor performance. I wasn't prepared. I was supposed to fail, and I'm glad I failed hmm. because it taught me to prepare myself, over prepare yourself, yeah. over promote yourself, over analyze everything because every little detail counts. Yep, that's true. And don't put your money into something where you don't have enough cushion to bag yourself up if it falls. That's real. That's real. I'm glad I failed. Because I fell forward. Yeah. Couldn't stop. Yeah. I had to shake back, even with the loss of my crib and all that. I had to keep going. Yeah, you had to make that 20K back <laughs> somehow. Yeah. 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 I had, yeah. To, had, to, had to do it. I had to do it. So, um, like my cousins are in the rap game here in Dallas. Um, I got friends uh in, in music in the music arena. So as a new artist, what 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 advice would you give to them when they're starting their career? Well, make sure that your content reflect you. What does that mean? Well, make sure you don't who you naturally are on the inside. Yeah. Put that in your music. Because that gives you your longevity, okay. and that that's how you connect with your fans. You want to you want to reflect yourself because too, as a musician, I don't know if a lot of people are spiritual or whatever, or whatever but when you do a music, you summon in different energies mm. and different spirits. So you want to make sure that the crowd that you get booked at is not a a, a dangerous type environment because you might want to bring your lady with you. Right. Your mama might want to come see your show. Right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So you want to make sure that you put yourself in your energy and your environment where your music kind of reflect. Now, if you just a, a, a ill, messed up individual, I mean, you know, do what you do. Right. right. I'm, I'm speaking on for like younger artists who thinking that they got to do what's now to get right. on. What's right. now ain't going to be tomorrow. Right. That's That's true. You know what I'm saying? So. And most of the guys that I know personally who's who make that kind of music, when you get to know them, they ain't even nothing like how they the music be. Right, right, it's right. Real chill, mellow. It's entertainment, right? right? It is entertainment. So for a new artist, man, y'all just stay focused, be yourself as much as you possibly can. Make sure your message is getting through. Find out who you are mm -hmm. while you build your brand. Because that's who you want. That's gonna be your legacy, right? And this don't always last, like the NBA. Like some cats come through for a few, a couple of years or a year, you might get one record. Mm -hmm. You might get lucky and hit two or three. So you want to make sure it stick to your core self because that's what you'll be doing for forever. You I mean go down the history of who you are? Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. So, um. You said something earlier talking about being on a label. Do you, you do you you have a label? Is that correct? I'm signing myself. Yeah, independent. So, so, on your independent label. Yeah. So, um, 
there was a story out about um was it is it was a seventh streeter who got a bad deal I, well i think it was seventh streeter who um probably were yeah got got a got a got a horrible deal horrible deal so 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 many people get a record label or get a record deal and they were like oh i got a deal from a record label um and they jump on it would you would you give them that, that advice that they should take the first deal that comes to them like what what, what kind of advice would you give them at that point I, I can't say for sure. I, I can't say take the first deal or not because okay. I don't know what kind of position they in life. Right, right, right. But it, but if you're in a position where you can sustain yourself and not have to take that deal right away, or if it's a favorable deal, so get an attorney. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Give an attorney they five percent. Mm-hmm. You know because this is all new. This is something you're gonna be doing because you don't want to miss out on your publishing when you're 30, 40, then you done fell off. Right. And, and you was hot at 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, as we don't see a lot of artists, they don't always last. They right. don't always be bookable. Right. Seasons change. The environment change in music every couple months. You know what I mean? Yeah. So just get an attorney, man, and figure figure out the best, what's fa- most favorable for your future. So that's right. it. I so, can't so- tell you not to sign or sign. Yeah, that's true. I, I get I get that part. But I, I love I love the fact that you say get an attorney because so many people try to go to somebody they know, they trust, you know, that yeah. kind of thing. Like I'm gonna go to my dad and you know, my dad, you know, no, but get an attorney, somebody who can look out for your best interest because that's what you're paying them to do at that point. Yeah, yeah. Go find an attorney and then do research. I mean, everything is out there now, public record. So you can yeah. go look at your favorite artists and figure out who their attorney is. Mm-hmm. You go to their Instagram page and see who followed them. That's a lawyer or whatever, or yeah. people they just took pictures with. So you can find out who in that arena can help you. And, and majority of them go help you because it's a check attached to it. You right. know what I'm so yeah. and then you want somebody that's not uh, uh, a, a staff to the label. You know that don't work with the label because right. that's a conflict of interest on your part. You might lose. Yeah, because they're gonna they're gonna always have the labels back and the label paying them more. Yeah, and then they still gonna get paid off you because right. yeah. So that's real. That's real. Yeah. Um. So so this is my first opportunity, man. So like I'm I'm I want to get my music out there. Uh, so it's so it's okay to walk away. So okay to walk away and produce independently yeah. as a, as a, as an artist. Yeah, it is. If okay. the deal ain't right, don't sign it. Okay, so so many people be hungry, and I, I I wanted to hear you say that because I meet so many artists that are just hungry for any opportunity, and so they would jump at it and just say, "Oh, you know, this may be the thing that breaks me or, or makes me." Yeah, the, you feel like that, but if they like you, somebody else gonna like you. Yeah, because first you had to believe in yourself to get to that point for them to be sitting there looking at you talking about a deal. Right. So right. Keep believing in yourself and keep moving. If yeah. it's not favorable to you, somebody else is going to come and it's going to be at, at your best interest. I would recommend try to do a partnership. So start an LLC, get an attorney that's on there. You know what I'm saying? So you could do a partnership deal with a label versus signing as an artist. Because once you do that with a partnership deal, you will have more wiggle room to really keep your true essence of your art versus right. just signing the deal. They want you to say it like this. You got to do it like that because they ultimately paying you to be this character or paying you to do whatever. So you want to be mindful of all the things that come along with this. Man, it's good, it's good knowledge, man. Good knowledge. I appreciate that. For sure. No problem. No problem. So uh, question, what you got coming up next? What, what's, what's next for, for you? Uh, next, we got some, we got some visuals coming out. We got a couple singles. that's about to start rolling out the first quarter, middle of the first quarter. We got a concert that we're doing. We're doing a live stream in March. Okay. Um, and then, of course, you know, some whatever the stuff is, South by Southwest, we're working on some other stuff out of the country at the end of the year. Nice. Um, and a few other things that I really can't put out there. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah. So, um, question how, how did you survive during COVID? Like, what, 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 what way did you pivot? Did, you, did things change? Would, it, would things stay the same? How did, pivot, uh, how did COVID affect you? COVID was perfect. Um, because, well, now I take that back. God forgive me. For the people who lost their lives, I apologize for saying that. But, um, and for the families of the people, COVID, COVID for me, I'm thankful that nobody passed away, you know, mm-hmm. at, during the worst of the worst time. Right. Even though mm-hmm. we got this new variant. Um, but COVID was a time to sit down and really go through everything and filter out and see what's next and what we should do, build my sound, find, you know, the 
with the, get with the producer to really work on some good stuff, create some dope visuals, work with some great artists. We was able to shoot a lot of content as far as production, like you see see the video. We was able to give people, a lot of people jobs, their first time uh, as actors or whatever. So we was able to get a lot of production done during the time of COVID and still do some good business with our other other clients that we got too. So COVID was cool. What's up, man? That's what, that's what yeah. I like. To, I like to, I like to uh, ask because I know a lot of artists got hit, and then a lot yeah. of artists like they won during COVID too. So it just yeah. depends yeah. on to see what people were. Yeah, we really got hit, you know, financially. But mm -hmm. if you look at the 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 wholeness of it all, we didn't lose, right? Because you can't miss what you never had. That's you true. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you're a hustler, you 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 really can't count what you ain't got in your pocket or in your bank. Right, right. Project that you go make these couple M's or a hundred thousand mm -hmm. here and this, but if it ain't in your pocket, you can't count that, man. Yeah, that's real. Yeah. yeah. Um, last last thing, how can people follow you? Oh, uh, on Instagram, Sean Keys at S E A N K I E Z, as y'all can see on the gotcha the or on the cap hoodie on the cap. Sean yep. Keys. Yep. Yep. So I, I need one of those, bro. I need one of those caps. Yeah, I need one of that. I get you one. I get you sent one. For sure. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, so, so that's you on Instagram and Facebook. You on Facebook? Yeah, I'm on Facebook too. Same okay. thing. Sean Keys. S e a n k i e z. On YouTube, and then on all, on all streaming platforms, you can find me, Sean Keys. S e a n k i e z. Keep it easy. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, so we're gonna play a quick game, bro. Um, uh, we're gonna play a quick, quick game. It's called um it's called this or that. It's okay, cool. Yeah, so I'm I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you two two words, um, and then you tell me which one out of the two words that you pick, this or that, and then a quick a quick uh response on why. Gotcha. All right. Um sports cars or SUV? SUV. Why? There's more room. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Um, boys in the hood or Friday? Boys in the hood. Why? It reflects more of my reality. Okay, okay, I can do that. I can do that. Yeah. Um, a million dollars in cash or a million dollar home? Uh, I get a million dollar home because I could flip that because if it's got equity in it and I could do a little rehab and it'll make a little bit more. Okay. So, yeah, you ain't gonna lose no money on a million dollar house. You're gonna make money. Okay, okay. I can do that. I can do that. Um, let's see, LA or New York? LA. Okay. Why so? <laughs> Everything's better on the West. You know, <laughs> <it's> better. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. The, better. The, the view is better. Okay. Okay, okay. I, 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 can, I can dig that. Last one, last one, last one. It's gonna be tough, man. Kobe uh, Bryant or Michael Jackson? I mean, uh, Michael Jordan. Woo! Now, see, growing up, I was in the middle of both of those eras. Right, right. Me too. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to go with Mike, man. Why Mike? I got to go with Mike because he really set the tone for our culture. Gotcha. Um, as far as, like, the shoes, as far as, like, everybody looking up to him, mm -hmm. going to be like Mike, the ball yep. head. Yep. Uh, the 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 whole walk. You remember how Mike used to walk? Everybody try to walk like Mike, shoot like Mike when they in the right. gym. Right. You know, so I would say Mike because he gave you more joy. No knock to Kobe, rest in peace. We love yeah. you sure. and thank you for everything that you did. But Mike really set the tone for Kobe. You're right. That's true. Yeah. So I yes. would have to stick with Mike, man. Cool, man. Cool, man. That was easy. Easy. This or yeah. that. Man. Yeah, I like to, I like to, I like to throw those in there just to have a conversation, see where your head is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate that, man. Cool, That's man. Cool. Coach, thank you for joining me, man. I'm excited uh, for you to be yeah. part of our 40, 40 under forty. It's gonna be appreciate dope, it. man. Yeah, and uh, yeah. and uh, yo, make sure you go check out my boy Sean. Make sure you check out his music video. Follow him on all social medias. Um, and what? Make sure you support, support, support all these artists. They're doing yeah. amazing. Please, and all respect to all the artists that's on here. I'm gonna check y'all stuff out. Hopefully, we can collab or whatever. You just keep it going. That's yeah. What's up, man? I appreciate you. Thank you, brother. I'm gonna make sure you get a hat too. I'm gonna get that sent to you. I'm sure my people right. will get with you. <laughs>